Oh, that's just horrible. Why? What is going on everyone? Mystic from Mystical Tomes here and today we're going to be doing a brand new playthrough of The Event. Just saw it on Steam, wanted to go get it. By the sounds of it, it's going to be probably a haunted hospital or some kind of facility like a, uh, like a prison or something because the electric chair being there. And uh, let's see what kind of stuff we can get into on this because you know what? It is the spooky season and I'm all about it. So if you guys enjoy my gameplay, my commentary, the playthrough, all that good stuff, please hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And let's get started. So far, so far, th just for a demo, this looks outstanding. Look at the detail in the room. Really like that right now. But I'm going to also see... Okay, can't get to the main menu. No, I don't want to get out of here. I'm good. Uh, there we go. Okay, so there's no changing the graphics on here. I should have done that real quick. Of course, the light bulb is the light bulb is burnt out. The head is missing, so we need to find a light bulb, a head. Construction report, 121079. Electricity has gone out in some areas of the structure. We will assemble the auxiliary electricity generator for the mower. most important equipment. For lighting, I recommend the use of torches and candles. Coordinator Jim or J. Manns. Nice. Got a key to the drawer. And we also got this for a notepad. <laughs> An office? Do I work here? I can't even remember my name. Mildly convenient. Light bulb obtained. No feet that you can see. That's awesome. Oh, there's a bloody handprint right there. I would have never seen that. All right. Office key obtained. Nice. That looks like fresh blood, too. That's not, you know, noticing or alarming at all. It is really loud in here. <laughs> it's very loud. And I don't even know where I'm supposed to go right now. There's another bloody handprint right there. All this blood. Oh good, I got a torch, that's awesome. A note from the construction worker. Why did they put this valve, or uh, why did they put the valve for the pipes inside the reception? Who designed this place? That is an excellent question. Oh, that looks nice. So, okay, so there's four symbols or something. Something that looks like a peacock's tail, uh, a pair of el elephant trunks, a fancy sword, and some weird demonic looking bird. Got it. Alright, not a problem. course it's locked. Uh, of course that happened. The steam is too hot to pass through. It seems to be a medical facility under renovation, but why is there no one around? I need to find something to cut the chain blocking the exit. Probably a pair of bolt cutters. All bolt cutters would work. Not, I'm not going to lie, uh, this thing is definitely giving me, i to move that over a little bit, there we go, 
This is definitely giving me some anxiety here because of how loud everything is. There's an open there's an open door around here. There's not. Of course. There's candles lit over there. It's out of service, of course it is. I also gotta find the, the statue's head, that's another thing I gotta find. Nothing there. Hands are not moving. Knowing my luck, it's probably something to do with time has stopped and st is standing still, probably. And I'm just in a, a paradox of time being stood still or something. Letter to the general manager, 71079. I'm writing to invite you once again to stop performing operations on deceased patients' bodies. They should be given a proper burial. You will regret your choices, Father Lucas. Interesting. White Knight found. No time for this. I'm kind of shocked we can't open any of the lower drawers over here. That's kind of a wasted opportunity to right there, but hey, that's just, uh, that's just me saying that there. Uh huh. It sounds like a noose. There's got to be something around here. Oh, there's some right there. Note from the receptionist: I can't find the keys for the reception. One of the patients must have taken them while I was distracted. Uh, check the rooms near the office. Love KPS. Malcolm finally invited me to the pub. Good for you. You go, girl. Something broke. I don't know what it was, but something broke. checking over here again oh yeah that door got torn down that's awesome thanks for that and that door got opened up too I'm gonna go in the other room first I'm gonna go in the other room first yeah this seems a lot better totally doesn't have any film
I gotta say, I do love the detail on this, though. It's a hell of a thing. I don't have a lighter. Oh, that's great. The light is flickering now. That's even better. Whew. Okay. This is not your world. Okay. We'll put that down and ignore it like I never even read that. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. everything that you are and everything that you stand for. I don't like the fact that he's moving right now. Oh good, the, the flashlight still works. Okay, awesome. This is going to be fun. Lighter obtained, bet. Say less. Pages, page from Justin's diary. Diary, what is this place full of candles? Why is this place full of candles? I feel trapped with all this fire around me. Me and Dan share the same candle but I always turn it off. Sam sleeps in front of me, his candle is always on fire. I ask Jan to turn off his, and Tom B has it never lit. Uh-huh. So, you and Dan uh, always have it on. Sam is in front of you, but his candle is always on fire. Love the disembodied breathing behind me, too. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Jan. I asked Jan to turn off his, so I turn off his. Okay. Jan's is off. Uh, Sam sleeps in front of me. His candle is always on. I, I don't know if that's Jan or not, but or whatever it is. Justin... Is there a difference? I, I can't tell. I hope... I hope that dude does not move from that bed. That's all I'm going to say about that. You stay there, buddy. You stay there. Justin continues to delirium, saying he, he sees candles around him. Hallucinations are becoming more frequent among patients. There is one candle in the room, and it's the rectangular one. In every room, there is one. I wish I would have read that the first time, but that's fine. Okay, that guy's gone now. Where did he go? No one knows.
I'm not a fan of this. Oh, hi. Uh, I can't really see what that is, but it looks like a human being walking towards me, possibly. What was that? I'm not alone in this place. I must stay focused. Closing the valve in the reception is my priority. I need to check upstairs for a bolt cutter. Very, very smart sound vice. There's gotta be something around here. Okay, good. We're making some progress. Dead. <laughs> no kidding. Am I dead? Am I even alive? Police about the event. Police Commissioner Mark Ruffalo made this statement regarding the event, which happened on the morning of 1013. Many people disappeared, and the commander's words were, We have no clues that can lead us in the missing subjects, but we are working hard to find them. We are also collaborating, redacted with, scientists who have a complete assessment of the place of the event. We do not exclude paranormal activities. The church and its community continues their protests against the heads of the psych psychiatric hospital, accusing of them carrying out experiments with the corpses of the deceased patients instead of giving them a proper burial. It is rumored that the uncertain Providence of patient 23 may have caused redacted something unknown to us during the operation of the dead body. Many fear that, or many fear a twist of alien origin. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. There we go. No more steam, hopefully. film head right there. Patient 23. I don't think I should be using this film. I, I don't think I should do it. But knowing my luck, I'm going to be the one who pokes the bear on this for you guys. You're welcome. And I'm going to say, eh, what's the worst that can happen? Patient number 23. The only name we know about him. The farmer found him in the middle of a crop circle in his farm during summer. Police couldn't verify his identity. He was out of his mind. His eyes were empty, and lost, as if someone had taken away the soul from his body. They decided to bring him to the asylum in the city, to try to help him. But there was no hope for him. He died in the first week of October due to unknown circumstances. The doctors didn't bury him but decided to use his body for research purposes. They planned an operation to open his brain. The operation was performed on the 13th of October. Of course it was. The same day that what is called the event occurred. That actually explains a lot. Alright, patient 237, an operation to open his brain. They must, they shouldn't have touched his body after death. Whatever the guy was carrying inside him, it wasn't something good. I'd like to remember I could find more films around somehow, or not. I must leave this place as soon as I can. It's very smart sound advice. I thought it was going to be way worse than that, but don't jinx it. I'm, I'm waiting for it. Got to find the statue's head. That'd be good. 
Oh, there's candles up here too. That's great. And that one just extinguished out. Why? It's so dark that my freaking flashlight is not even being useful right now. Note from the doctor. We might know who is messing around. It would be really appreciated if someone could find all the chess pieces that are missing, Dr. R. Well, I found a white knight, so I mean, that's one of like, what, 24 pieces, 30 something pieces? It's something around there. I need to cut the chain somehow, okay. Patient Edgar Honovic. Patient 23. Oh, the actual patient that everyone was talking about? Demons there, 23. Hmm. Noise, noise. Uh, okay, what is that? Jesus Christ, dude. This is my luck, I'm playing this thing at night. Okay. Note from a construction worker, the bolt cutters are gone. How about you stop and say you did? How about that? The bolt cutters are gone. I don't have time to look for them myself. Check at the table at the end of the corridor. See you at the pub, Malcolm. At. Okay. Of course, that door just magically opened up. It was completely closed, but hey. It, and the wheelchair is right there, too. We're going to cut that crap out right now. It's me fine. They're at the end of the hallway. They're at the end of the hallway. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. It's a very long corridor right now. Oh, man, this is my all-time This is my all-time worst nightmare right here. No water figures. Bolt cutters were supposed to be at the end of the hallway, weren't they? That was uh, what my understanding was. Now I'm going to run back now cuz I'm freaking out. They got me. Yeah, no water. Wait, what? No water. Oh, that's just horrible. Why? Oh, this is just getting even worse. No bolt cutters are worth this. I'm sorry. No water again. Oh. No, 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 no. You stay over there, dude. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm rushing you. I don't care at this point. Do I have goosebumps? Oh yeah, sure do. But you're gonna get fucked up now. No water again.
A note, you behind, 23. You behind, 23. Oh wow, okay. Uh, was not expecting that in the slightest. Torch doesn't work anymore, that's nice of you. Oh, this is even better. I don't remember what, what was what. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so now I can finally see, and that's what that is. Three symbols. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, I think I know what I was supposed to do. I think I was supposed to remember which one it was, but I don't remember which doors were what. Okay. Need a key. Of course I do. How the hell am I going to get that key up there? This is going to be fun. And now it's changed again. What the fuck? What is going on? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see what it is. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So last one on the last one on the left. See, I did not know this. Very interesting. Okay, so we got to find. This game's getting very curious. If this is not a, a melting pot of fucking with your brain, I don't know what is. So we have the circ the square outside the circle. We have a, a dripping pool of blood and a fancy candle holder, a pool of blood, and the square outside the box. Okay, that's where we got to go. All right. That makes way more sense now. Pool, weird candle holder, square. Got it. Second door on the left. Second door on the left. Second, second to first door on the left. Second to last door on the left. And second to right. Uh, second to last door on the right. Okay, we'll figure this out. second and last door on the left. Was it right? Yep, yeah, it was right. It was right, wasn't it? It was. Oh, it just gets keep... Is that a person in there? Oh, that's great. Oh, this isn't worse. Hello? Are you okay? Guess not. Notes written with blood. It's playing with, our, with your sanity. The church was wrong about where they come from, but their methods still seem to work against them. Find the book and the chalice. Take the dagger with you. Complete the symbol ritual with all of the three and get out of this place. If, you never, if, you, if you'll ever leave, tell my father, Edgar, you found me dead. Jesus Christ.
damn dude. I don't want to end up like this guy. He wrote about a ritual and his father, Edgar. Do I know these people? Maybe I can manage to reach the end of the corridor and get that bolt cutter. Again, no bolt cutter is worth this. I don't like that. Oh, we're in the upside down world there. So the weird freaking tree and the square. That's what we need to find. Oh, and I get the key this way, right? Nice. Okay, that makes that makes way more sense, dude, cuz I'm like I have no idea what I'm doing. Unknown key found. I guess I don't need it right now. Well, I, I kind of do, because I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Oh, hi! Nope, 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 nope. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Hopefully the light switch will switch everything back, but I doubt it will. I don't need it right now. Well, dude, <laughs> okay, well, where else am I supposed to go exactly? There's one. Grimoire obtained. I can't get that note right now. Alright, okay. Alright, I'm on the ceiling. I'm losing my sanity at this point, and I don't even know what's real. Maybe this book could get my feet back on the floor. Well, that's not a major hint. I don't know what is. Please put my feet back on the floor. That, that, that would be greatly appreciated. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Awesome. And the chalice. M O Mo. Interesting, interesting. We're winging it at this point, guys. Notes written in blood. The time here is not the same as we know it. How long have I been here? No hunger, no pain, no sleep. Death would set me free. Just please don't go after me, dude. I, I don't think I can handle that. You've already been in enough rough shape as possibly is. A note. Real knot is the wall. The through pass and the chalice hold. We're through past the chalice to hold. Okay. Um, I don't know what that means, but alright. Interesting, interesting.
How am I going to get through this then? Jesus, man. I had to walk backwards this entire time. Good God, dude. Of course you had it. Oh, hi. Bro, what the fuck? Excuse my language, but good God. I turned the light on. Bam. Please don't get up. Please, please, please don't get up. My dude is shaking right now. Now close the door. We're now do door of the close. What what happened? What happened? Oh jeez! That makes sense. It's a good thing I closed the door then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. How did I end up here? Where is everyone? Where am I? Something is following me and I don't have any memory but that light. A white, that white light. And I want to go B. I don't know what I'm supposed to do exactly now. It's a paint roller. They got the eeriness down. Just, just chef's kiss right there, man. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do exactly, but probably close the door. Thanks for playing the demo. Leave an honest review with it. Would help my work out a lot. Don't forget wish list if you're enjoying playing. Press P to quit the game. I don't want to quit the game. I want to know if I get out of there alive or not. Not going to lie, though. All right. Well, that is the end of that game playthrough. It was a little annoying on some points, just like the going back and forth and not a whole bunch of clues. But you know what? This is the type of game you don't need a lot of clues on. And I enjoyed it immensely. They had the atmosphere, the ambience, how dark it was, the very limited amount of light. It gave you paper clues and physical clues on how to beat the game. And I got to say, they also did a really good job on all the freaking gore, that, or the limited amount of gore that was on there. The whole entire paranormal freaking alien you know, theories that were going on on this game that you found in the clues, absolutely freaking phenomenal. And I love the freaking sound effects they had. The audio, the visual, the character developments, everything. And if I was going to rate this of anything, I'd probably rate this a high 9. Probably 9.5. And I gotta say, you know what? Phenomenal job. You know why? Uh, it, it just is. I just want to thank the creators on this game for allowing anyone to have the privilege of playing this game. You can see that the hard work really paid off for just a demo, and I can't wait, frankly, to actually play the full game. So if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, this commentary, my feedback, my gameplay, whole thing, whole nine yards, please hit, please hit the like, subscribe, and bell notification in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. And as always, I'm Mystic from Mystical Tomes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.